In this video, I am going to show you how to edit PDF files in Adobe Photoshop. So the PDF files are becoming more and more important in today's digital world. If you have a PDF file and want to edit that PDF file in Adobe Photoshop by using the powerful editing features of Adobe Photoshop, then you are at the right video as this video will answer your all questions. Open the Adobe PDF file on Adobe Photoshop by going to the file menu and choose open. Locate the PDF document and click open. There should be an automatic import PDF pop-up where you can customize the properties of your PDF. You will come across a select button that requires you to choose between editing the PDF file in pages or images format. Clicking on the images option means you only get to edit the images in the PDF and not the text. So we will choose the pages option here. Now we want to edit multiple images at a go. We need to hold down the control for Windows PC or command for Mac and select each page we want to edit. To begin with, you will need to edit each page of your PDF file individually. Every page should be a separate photoshop.psd file. Make sure anti-alias option is checked. Anti-aliasing is the technique used to smooth lines and remove these visual distortions. The resolution you choose is also very important. If you want to print the PDF, you can use 300 pixel per inch. If you want to upload the PDF file online, it is advised that you choose a lower resolution to keep the overall file size of the PDF more manageable. So 72 pixels per inch is a common choice for online uploading. You can also open your file in reverse order. Whichever setting you choose, the next page that opens is the proper editing page. Here you can add or move the layers. You can add shapes, images, annotations and adjustment layers. So you can also utilize other editing tools such as paint with brush tool, adding text and more. It is, it is very easy to add a text box in Adobe Photoshop. Just select the type tool and click on the target place and type in the words to edit PDFs in Adobe Photoshop. If you want to change the font style or color, open the character menu to find the font style you like and also customize the text color. So choose any selection tool and draw a selection to select the text you need to remove. Drag the selection to move back and forth. Make sure the required layer is also selected. And press delete key. The text will be removed immediately. If you want to add more content to a page, you can increase the pixel height by going to image menu and canvas size. Just make sure you do not increase the width, it is important the width stays the same on every page, otherwise the layout of your PDF will be impacted. You can also add more pages by going to file menu and choose new. Then choose the same page size as your PDF and also choose the same resolution. I will change the name of this file to remember its positioning and click create. Let me add some random text. Now the important thing is, now the important thing is we can't save changes to the original PDF either, which means we will create a new file for our edited document. I can save each file as a .psd so that I can edit each page separately in the future if needed. After editing PDF files in Adobe Photoshop, head over to File menu, click Automate and choose PDF presentation. Here make sure to check add open files and sort by name. So you can drag each file up and down in the list to change their positioning if needed. Make sure to choose multi-page document under the output options section before clicking save. When you are ready click save to save the file as PDF. So you can now choose where to save your PDF file so finally, you will have a number of options for customizing the output of the PDF file. For example, you can use the compression tab to minimize the PDF file size by sacrificing image quality. 
I have created a detailed video about this feature, link is given in the description and i button. So for now, you will, so for now you can click save PDF. Your PDF file will now be created. You can double click the file to open it in your web browser or PDF reader applications. So here is a look at our test file. You can notice how all pages are displayed with the same zoom and layout despite one page being taller. If you have an issue with same pages not displaying correctly, you must ensure the pixel width of each PST page file is exactly the same. I hope this video has helped you to learn how to edit PDF files in Adobe Photoshop. Don't forget to subscribe the channel for more upcoming videos like this. If you have any question about the process, let me know and I will be happy to help. That's all for today. See you in the next video.